Sería... Que quería pasar y cuando los aleja toparon una piedra en la calle. Hola, hola, good evening, class. Hi, guys. Hello, teacher. Ahí vino Hi, la guys. Teacher, guys. Tell me. Dando unos copias, estábamos aquí, teacher. Okay. So, we're going to start, guys. Uh, just let me start sharing with you. Okay, so we'll continue with our topic, which is uh, double H questions, right? So we have been talking about that so far. So let's see what do we have, okay, for this lesson. So we were talking about some vocabulary yesterday, and we were having a conversation just before we finished with our class. Estamos en esta conversación antes de terminar el día de So, but for today, we'll continue with some more questions related to work. Look at this. So practice and answer the following double H questions. For example, question number one. Can you read question one, Sergio? What, uh -huh. yeah. what, what do you do on weekends? Uh -huh. What do you do on weekends? Let's see, next question, please. Let me see, Juan Carlos, can you read that, please? When do you? Do workers play soccer? Okay. Question three, please uh, help us, David. Where do you work with? Okay. Who? Who do you work with? Ah, who? who do you work who do you with? Work with? Okay, excellent. Let's see. Anybody else for the last question? Diana, please read question four. Diana. So Where do you eat during lunch time? Okay, so we discussed basically mass of these questions. Yes, sir. So basically discutimos todas estas preguntas, la mayoría. But uh, we have, this is just, a, let's say, um, a warming up activity. So we're going to start asking these questions. And let's see, do you remember, uh, just to start with that, do you remember the meaning for the double H questions? For example, who, what do we mean with who in Spanish? What is a translation for who? Quien. Quien, okay. Quien. Yeah, excellent. Next double H question, where? What is that? To, donde? Donde. Okay. Donde, oh, oops. Okay. Okay, so we have another one. Which? What is that? Cual? Con quien? Con? Which? No, which? Which? Cual? Cual? What? Que? Uh huh. Que or? Cual? También, verdad? Yeah. Oh, cual? Okay. Let's see, any other that we're forgetting? When, what is when? Translation, guys. Cuando, cuando. Okay, so that's, uh, okay, for cuando. Any other that we're uh, forgetting? Hay alguna otra que estamos olvidando? So do you remember any other? Question? Ah, 
how uh -huh. oh yeah how what is the meaning what is the translation como okay how many cuánto how much mucho cuánto también la diferencia es ahí que lo van utilizando con sustantivos contables y how much con incontables for example how much y también con precios el how much también se utiliza con precios uh, how much is this uh, cell phone for example how much is uh, this cell phone cuánto cuesta este celular okay. it's Okay, twenty twenty dollars maybe. Uh, let's say two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. It's two hundred dollars. Um, and so another example could be. How much, see sugar, do you um okay. Do you need? Maybe we're talking about some spoons of sugar. Entonces, how much se va utilizando con sustantivos incontables. Um, let's say grains, oils, or liquids, abstract ideas, no ideas abstractas, um, sustantivos incontables como el azúcar, la sal, la sand, la arena. ¿Cuál podría ser otro? Me encanta el nombre. Water, for example, water, oil. So these are some examples. Okay, so let's see. Let's discuss this question. So what do you do on weekends? So let's see. Let's start uh, talking about your activities during the weekend. So we have been talking about uh, your work days. Estuvimos hablando ayer de los días de trabajo, las actividades que hacían. So let's see. Question. Juan Carlos, what do you do on weekends, Juan Carlos? For example, so what are some activities that you do on weekends? So can you mention some? Pueden mencionar algunas o escribir algunas en el chat. Some activities, some daily, some activities I, you do on weekends. I, I sleep. Mm -hmm. For example, sleep. Um, sometimes I work. Work. Study. Study. Work. What else? Piensen en las actividades que hacen los fines de semana. So, what do you do? Read. Okay. Play in the car. Playing cars. Cars? This? I don't know if that's your idea. ¿Jugar las cartas? ¿Jugar cartas? I don't know. No sé si, si esa era la idea. Vamos a ver. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Um, get up early. Go to work. Go to church with my family. Okay. What else? What else do you do on weekends? Tell me. So think about some any some other activities that you normally do on weekends. With with my family, my family. Uh huh. With my family, go to church with my family. What else? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? So what else do you do? Do you cook on weekends? Maybe. Do you cook on weekends? Yes. No. Tell me. Do you exercise on weekends? Go for a walk. Go for a walk. Okay. Go for a walk. What else? Do you exercise? So what are some routines that you have? For example, I sleep um, the whole day. Okay. Duermo todo el día. Sin parar. <laughs> some maybe. Some of you arrive on Sunday. Algunos el domingo. Um, I don't know. Let me see. Do we have some? Uh, meet, uh, meet with uh, friends. Okay. Watch soccer matches. Okay. Ver ahí los partidos de fútbol. Um, Watching the dress. Uh, I play soccer. Mm -hmm. Play soccer or watching or washing? Play, play soccer. Play soccer. 
Alguien mencionó ahí algo de, de dress. Sí, lavar la ropa. Ah, ok. Wash my clothes. Ok, clothes. 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 So, wash my clothes. Ok. So, do the laundry. Ok. Do the laundry. Ahí básicamente lavar la ropa, la lavadora. So, so do the laundry or wash my clothes. Watch Ahora, TV. Watch TV. Ok, so we have a lot of activities that you normally do on weekends. So but you can add some more. Ok, question. Uh, do you know when your do your co-workers play soccer? So when do your co-workers play soccer? Do you know this? Yes? No? Cuando? Cuando no. juegan fútbol. Yeah, any idea? But what is the normal thing? What is the usual thing that people normally do during uh, uh, Sunday? In in Saturday. Saturday. Tenemos un torneo, no sé cómo se dice. Maybe <laughs> soccer match. Maybe uh Saturday uh or Sunday. Okay, quizás sábado o domingo. Um okay. Or we have a soccer match. Soccer match on Saturday, you said that right? Okay, so maybe Saturday or Sunday, or we have a soccer match on Saturday. Okay, so this is just a question just to find out what you know. So who do you work with? Who do you work with? Can you mention some colleagues? Let's see, Sergio, who do you work with? Con quien trabaja, Sergio? Who do you work with? With, I work with uh, Melvin. Melvin. Diana, how about you, Diana? Who do you work with? So, who um, Melvin, what is his uh, position, his job position at work? What is uh, Compañero de área, no sé cómo. Compañero de área. Yeah, my co-worker. Co-worker. My co-worker. Co mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Um, Diana, Diana, how about you? Who do you work with? I work with uh, Ulises. Ulises. He's a te technician. Okay. Technician. Yeah. And Douglas is a salesman. And Juan Carlos is my boss. Mm, okay. Salesman. Okay. Excellent. Diana, good job. So how about you? Let me see. Adriana. So who do you work with? Adriana, Adriana please tell us. Share with us. Activate your microphone, it's off. Yeah, thanks. I work with Catherine and Christian. Okay, so who is Catherine? Who's Catherine? Is she your boss? Is... She is? Uh -huh. No, es mi compañera. She is my co-worker. She is my co-worker. Y Christian es... El técnico del área. Mm -hmm. So she is my co-worker, same co-worker, and Christian is a technician. Okay, so let's see, he is a technician. He's a technician, okay, he's a technician. Okay, let's see, Um, David, how about you, David? Who is your, who do you work with? Tell us, who do you work with? I, you, I work with Iris. Iris, okay. So who is Iris? Who is Iris? Who is Iris? She is, she is boss. Okay. Your boss, okay. She is my boss, okay. She's my boss. She is, uh, ella is, uh, no sé cómo se le dice cuentas corrientes. Okay. De ella. So let's see. I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But is she your uh, también hay with hay Ajá, eh, hay Juan Carlos, hay Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos. So you were with Juan Carlos and Diana. Sí. He is eh, he is un coworker, compañero, uh -huh. compañero de coworker. So let's try to let's see. So you were saying um okay, Karen Let's say current accounts. Okay. 
accounts worker. So he is a current accounts worker. Is a current accounts worker. Ahí podríamos decirlo de esta manera. David. He is a current accounts worker. Mm -hmm. Accounts worker. Okay, yeah, thanks. Let's see. Uh, the next question, easy question. Where do you eat during lunch time? Where do you eat during lunch time? Let's see. Um, say, um, no, let's see, Kimberly, Kimberly. Hello, Kimberly. Where do you eat during lunch time, Kimberly? Kimberly, uh, Vanessa, hello, Vanessa. Hola. Oh, hello, Kimberly. Tell us, Kimberly, where do you eat during lunch time? Where? Where? Donde? Significant doors. Ah, durante, el, durante la hora de almuerzo. For example, um, I eat in a diner, in comedor, for example. I eat in a diner. In my office. Uh huh. Okay. I eat in my office. So where do you eat? Tell me. Vanessa, how about you? Vanessa, Walter, where do you eat? Tell me, guys. So we're going to be talking today. So where do you uh, eat? Eating in a diner. Okay, so you eat in a diner. Okay, anybody else? Maybe you eat junk food. Do you eat junk food uh, during lunchtime? Come in, uh, maybe pizza, burgers, or any junk food, or algún tipo de comida, junk food, right? Karen, what is Karen? Karen, hello. Let me see. Karen, how about you, Karen? Oh. <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello. Hi, teacher. Hi. Where do you eat? Hi. Hi. Perdón, es que le oigo bien cortada. Where do you eat during lunch time? Mm, um, my house. In your house, okay. Yes. I eat at home, okay. Okay, let's see. Anybody else wants to share? About, let me see, Jacqueline. Hi, Jacqueline. How are you? Hi, teacher. Jacqueline, tell me. Um, um, <laughs> excellent. So where do you eat during lunch time, Jacqueline? I, I eat my lunch at at home at home okay so let's see uh let's try to find out some more questions uh, question one so we go back to question one what do you do on weekends uh yolanda tell me question one what do you do on weekends what do you do on weekends yolanda uh, sí, um, sería, what's my clothes uh, clean the house uh, eh, cuidar a los niños okay sería look after cuidar. look after um the children okay cuidar uh, look after the children uh, okay. y, ah, también mm -hmm. eh, preparing my breakfast preparing my uh, Lunch. Lunch. Mm -hmm. And I prepare a dinner. Prepare. Oh. Prepare. Oh. Or prepare. cook. Aha, uh -huh, you uh -huh. can say make. Puede ser cook, cocinar. Puede ser make, hacer. Mm -hmm. Or prepare. Ah, yeah. uh, okay. Make. Make the cook. The cook. Lunch. Oh. Mm, breakfast. I'll say. I cook breakfast. Or I make breakfast. I cook. I cook breakfast, I cook lunch, or I okay. cook uh, dinner. Yeah, uh -huh. dinner, right? So you cook the whole day. Sí, todo el día. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. Do you cook for the whole family? How many family members are there in your family? ¿Cuántos, cuántos miembros tiene? Eh, cuántos, ¿Cuántos familiares tiene? How many uh, members do you have? Three. Three. Ah, but you only cook for you three. Solamente para ellos tres. Sí. 
Okay, yeah, that's good. Let's see. Um, Carlita. Hi, Carlita. Carlita, tell me. So what are you doing weekends, Carlita? Activate your microphone. Hello, hello. Perdón, teacher, ¿qué dijo? Oh, yeah, question. What do you do on weekends? Tell me. I listen to music, take a shower. Uh -huh. I study. You study as well. Okay, yes. so do you study English or something else? English. English, excellent. Sergio, how about you, Sergio? Tell me, what do you do on weekends? What are some of the activities? Hello, hello. Hi, Sergio. Yeah, Sergio, what do you do on weekends? Uh, go to church with my family. Mm -hmm. Um, go for a walk. You go for a walk. I go for a walk. Okay. I go for a walk uh, with my family. Your family. Okay. Interesting. And do you cook on weekends? Do you cook on weekends? Sergio? No. Uh, someone. Sometimes. Sometimes. A veces. Yes. Sometimes. Oh, sometimes. Okay, got it. Oh, let me see. So we have Jose Maria. Jose Maria, what do you do on weekends? Tell us a little bit about your activities on weekends. Where is Jose Maria? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Jose Maria. Is he? Oh, no, he's not here. Maybe, let me see. Edwin, hi, Edwin. You here? No sé si Edwin está por acá. Edwin, hello. And I haven't asked Diana as well. Diana, hi, Diana. Diana, tell us. What do you do on weekends, Diana? Clean the house. And uh, this is... Father in the hospital. Mm -hmm. So you busy your father, your father. You busy your father, okay, at the hospital. Okay, nice. So we hope he will he gets well soon. Okay, thanks, Diana. Fidel, tell us, Fidel. Ah, aquí está Gerson. Fidel, Fidel, tell us, Fidel. What do you do on weekend? Same question. Um, first I get out early. Uh -huh. at, at four a.m. Mm -hmm. uh, I prepare for go to my job. I I job all all day. Okay. Oh wow! Excellent. Is um, it true? Es cierto. Is, yeah. is it true? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Mm. Okay. Let's see. No. Yeah, okay. Harrison, Harrison. Let's see, Harrison, Harrison. How about you, Harrison? Harrison, hello. Tell me, Harrison. I don't know if Harrison is here. Harrison okay. mandó mensaje, teacher. Okay. Y yo también le mandé el privado. Okay, ya lo voy a checar, chicos. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so we'll continue. We'll have some more questions to discuss about. In the following minutes. So right now I need you to join the breakout rooms and try to give some more ideas to this question, okay? Okay, tomen una captura de pantalla, chicos.
Hello, hello, Cesar, Elsie, Fidel, Harrison, José María, Karen. Le voy a mandar la invitación nuevamente a algunos. Yes. Otra vez Juan Carlos. When do you co work and play soccer? Cuando juegas fútbol con tus compañeros, algo así como. Así mero. Algo así, ¿verdad? Eh, sí. I, I play when my co workers sometimes Saturday. Ok. Adriana Chávez, when do you. You don't play soccer. I do not play soccer. Okay. <laughs> and he mandaron la captura. Ni me ha metido todavía. Dale Juan Carlos. Ya la ya. Ya. La tercera va. No, la segunda. When do you your co-worker ¿Cómo se dice? Co-worker Co-worker co play soccer uh, Maybe um, one or two times for week okay. Vaya, démosle a la tercera Who do you work with? With. Okay, Juan repeat Carlos. the question. Who do, Who do you work with? Who do you work with? Who do you work with? Who do you work with, Juan Carlos? With Diana. I work with Ulises. Um, I work with uh, Douglas. Okay. Adriana, who do you work with? I work with Catherine and Christian. Okay, pregunte me ahí, por favor. No, sí, sería. No, no, perdón. Uh, who do you work with? Uh, I work with Emerson, he is communication officer. Um, Raul is a emergency medical technician. Oh. Who is Raul? Raul. Raul yes. is emergency medical technician. Oh. He's your friend. Yes, sure. Emerson too is a communication officer. ¿Quién va? ¿Quién va ahorita? 
A la última les pregunto yo, where do you eat during lunch time? Adriana, where do you eat during lunch time? I eat, I eat in, caf, in the cafeteria mm -hmm. to my work. Okay. Juan Carlos, where do you eat during lunch time? I have, I, no, I lunch uh, sometimes in the house, in the home, in the home. Okay. Where do you eat during lunch time, Walter? Uh, sometime my work or my home, uh, maybe in the restaurant one or two times in the weekend. Vale, vamos a explicar otra vez. Voy a cerrar la puerta, que no escucho bien. Bueno. It's closed. Close the door, Diego. What? No te escuché, Juan Carlos, que estábamos cerrando ah. la puerta. <risa> Perdón. <risa> <risa> eh, yo, 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 your house, your home, perdón, your home is close to your work. Eh... Why? My house. Repeat, please. Your house is close to work. De que, de, lo que quería decir <laughs> era que si tu casa, si, si tu, tu casa está cerca de tu trabajo. Oh, no. I live in San Salvador and work, I am working in Comalapa. Oh. I live in, in uh, Hapa City. How much miles? Yes. Hello, Yolanda, ¿qué me iba a preguntar? Sí, ¿cómo diría que tiene trabajo de campo? Eh, field work, parece que se dice trabajo de campo, field. Ah, okay. Hello, hello, guys. Welcome back. So we're going to continue with uh, something else. So this is just, uh, let's say, that was just an introduction to the topic. So we'll continue talking about double H questions and we're gonna be checking the structure back again. So questions with simple present, look at this. So this is a ba the basic structure that we need. Vamos a ver si todos regresaron de las salas, déjenme checar. Si no dejamos a alguien por allá, no, ya estamos todos acá. Okay, so oh, can you observe the following chart? So we have a question word plus auxiliary verb plus subject plus main verb. Do you remember the auxiliary verbs? Vamos a recordar los verbos auxiliares. Do you remember the auxiliary verbs? Yes, no, tell me. Do, Do and that. Okay, so for the simple present, do and does. Question words, so any double H word, right? A double H words, I hear in less double H words. Okay, so then we need the subject. Can you mention the subject pronouns? We start with the first one. I, you, we, they, he, she, and it, right? Okay. Yeah. Plus, so what else do we need? ¿Qué más necesitamos? So we need a main verb. Necesitamos un, un verbo principal en lo, sobre lo que vamos a preguntar. For example, um, watch, let's say, watch, live, cry, 
Oh, we haven't added that question. No hemos agregado una, esa pregunta. Arrive and finish. Uh, okay, so there we have some examples. Ahí tenemos algunos ejemplos de verbos. So now that we have all these, um, I want to make an emphasis in the following double-edged question. Vamos a hacer un pequeño énfasis en esta que no la hemos visto. Why and what time? Miren, why do you cry? Why is, uh, you're going to use why in order to know the reason of something. Si queremos saber la razón, el porqué de algo. Okay? Conocer la razón de algo. And the answer, for example, why do you cry? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué lloras? So why? Why do you cry? Why are you sad? Why are you here? ¿Por qué estás aquí? Why? Um, why don't you talk with him? ¿Por qué no hablas con él? Okay, so we want to know about a reason of something. And usualmente contestamos con un because. Because. Entonces tenemos un porqué de pregunta. Es este. Y un porqué para responder. Okay, ¿por qué estás triste? ¿Por qué lloras? Why do you cry? Because I'm, let's say, so why, why do you, a common question, why do you study English? So why do you study English? And we want to uh, give a reason. So we're going to use because. Because, um, okay, I want to travel, for example. Te quiero viajar. Because I want to travel. Because, so why do you want, why do you study English? Because, because I want to travel. Because I need a new job, for example. A new job. So why do you study English? Can you mention some other reasons? ¿Cuáles serían algunas otras razones? Guys, why do you oh, study English? I like it. Necessary. I like it and one learn. Yeah. Because I like it. Okay. Because it is necessary. Okay, it's necessary. Uh, because it is useful. It's útil in my job. Okay, my work. Okay, because it's useful. Mm, okay, otra forma because de... Because I like uh -huh. language. Uh -huh. Because? I like okay. language. Or I like the language. También podemos utilizar el for para indicar un porqué. Okay, porque me gusta el idioma. For I like the language. So, why do you study English? I study English for I like the language. Entonces, veamos aquí, la, la hacemos completa. Entonces, aquí solo pusimos la razón. Voy a poner desde el principio. I yeah, study English. I study English for I like the language. For. Entonces, ese for ahí tiene una función como because. Eso significa because ahí. No significa para. Significa because en este caso. Ok, vaya, vamos a ver. Seguimos ahí con, con las otras preguntas. What do you... Sure. Aunque no se escriba, este, sorry, aunque no se escriba because, el eh, for siempre va a ser, ¿por qué? No siempre, pero en este caso el for lo estamos utilizando como, eh, como por qué. Son sinónimos, entonces en ese sería el sinónimo de, de because, for. Entonces aquí lo puedo utilizar para dar la razón. Estudio inglés porque me gusta el idioma. For I like the language. Entonces uh, ahí podrían utilizarlo también, no solamente because. Pero lo usual pues, es, es, es esta respuesta. Igual podríamos dejarlo solamente aquí. For I like the language. Ahí les quería poner otra, otra respuesta también. Una más larga. Donde vaya, oye, estudio inglés porque me gusta el idioma. Ok, let's see. Estos lo van a encontrar ustedes como llamados fanboys. Son conjunciones para ir uniendo frases, oraciones, para ir uniendo palabras. ¿El qué específicamente? ¿Cuáles son los fanboys que dicen? Los fanboys son coordinating conjunctions, son conjunciones coordinadas que se utilizan para enlazar 
oraciones, palabras, um, frases. Por ejemplo, I like, let's say, la primera es for, en este caso for, la segunda es in, ese es el acrónimo fanboys, es un acrónimo nada más, pero se llaman conjunciones coordinadas. Uh, for, luego sigue in, luego sigue nor, luego sigue but, luego sigue or, luego yet y luego so, ¿ok? Entonces cada una de ellas tiene un uso diferente. Entonces el for eh, significa because. El in, recuerden que para unir ideas similares lo veíamos en los conectores. Es un, una palabra de enlace. Y, ok. Nor. Um, okay. I don't like pupusas. Eh, nor. Ok. Tacos. No me gustan las pupusas ni los tacos. No me gusta ese ni. El bat. Significa, uh, pero también para indicar un contraste. Entonces acá indicamos un contraste de ideas. Uh, I love pizza, but I hate tacos. Me encanta la pizza, pero detesto, odio los tacos. Okay. El or lo vamos a utilizar para mencionar dos opciones. Um, for example, let's imagine that you go to a restaurant. Um, I can have a salad. Van a un restaurante y piden algo de comer. Okay, so what do you want to eat? I can have a salad or maybe, so give me an option. Or a burrito, maybe. A burger. A burger, yeah. Yeah, could be. Entonces cuando tienen opciones, unen ahí ese or. Entonces puedo comer una ensalada o un burrito. El yet significa, um, so it means aún, but we use it in order to talk by este, significa, pero también, yet, um, or excepto, excepto, excepto. Incluso este but, este but podría significar excepto, este. Ya les pongo un ejemplo. I like pupusas. Or, uh -huh. teacher, or, um, option, ¿qué, ¿qué significa en español? El or, este. Vaya, acá yo le estoy poniendo el, a lo que se refiere, cuando tenemos opciones. Entonces, por ejemplo, puedo comerme una ensalada o un burrito. Mm. ¿Qué significa o? Vaya, vamos acá. El otro, ese que les quería mostrar, el bat, lo utilizamos para contraste de ideas. Um, como les decía, I like pupusas, but I hate tacos. Or I like uh, pupusas, but I hate uh, uh, tomato sauce, let's say. No me gusta la salsa. And I like pupusas, but tacos. Miren. Ahí. También puede significar excepto. Me gustan las pupusas, excepto los tacos. Ahora seguimos con el siguiente. Con yet. El yet se utiliza en oraciones negativas e interrogativas con el significado de no. Um, a veces se puede utilizar al final de una oración. Por ejemplo. I have not finished yet. No he terminado aún. Ok. I have not eaten yet. No he comido aún. No he terminado aún. Ok. Y también tenemos el uso de yet como una conjunción. Entonces, bueno, tratando de dar algunos ejemplos. Um, el yet vendría significando, pero, sin embargo, ok, veamos un ejemplo. Michael, podría ser Michael likes, um, 
Let's see. Salsa music. Yet. Okay. He can't go to the concert. Okay. Entonces, ahí, tenemos un pero. Michael, a Michael le gusta la salsa music, right? Pero no puede ir al concierto. Entonces, ese yet actúa como un pero. Y este but que teníamos acá, como un pero de contraste o para hacer una excepción. Y este for, perdón, y este for, um, eh, no, perdón, ahí ya, ya no. Entonces, ahí nada más hacíamos la diferencia entre ese but y ese yet. Entonces, Teacher, y eso, y, y ese yet eh, no significa también todavía. Uh -huh. Sí, es, es este que les mencioné aquí arriba. Yo no he terminado uh -huh. o todavía. Son sinónimos. Aún uh -huh. o todavía. Ajá. Uh -huh. right. Y ahora eso significa así que. Eso lo vamos utilizando cuando queremos decir un resultado de algo. Um, ok. Okay, English. Okay, me encanta el inglés, me gusta el inglés. So, I am going to, uh, let's say, to study English. Okay, so I do like English, so I'm, so I'm going to study English. Así que, entonces este so es para indicar un resultado. Un result, ahí está. Okay. Entonces, ahí nos salimos un poquito del tema, pero igual espero que les recuerden que estas fanboys son conclusiones y las vamos utilizando justo para ir uniendo oraciones, frases, palabras. Ok. Um, maybe mañana les puedo traer algo, algo más adicional para que veamos un, unos ejemplos más. Ok. So let's see, let's continue with the questions. No sé si ya le tomaron captura por ahí. Yes. Okay, perfect. So let me erase that. Okay, so look at this. Next question, where do they live? They live in London. Y acá no direct, acá, ustedes no tan solo no da la, bueno, la respuesta, ¿verdad? ¿Dónde viven? En Londres. Or you can say, you can give a full answer, pero dar una respuesta con completa, ¿verdad? So they live in London. Why do you cry? Because I'm sad. I cry because I am sad. Entonces ahí pueden ir uniendo los ustedes. Uh, when does your dad arrive? ¿Cuándo llega tu papá? At 9.30. Miren, respuesta, no hay problema. Es algo que me preguntaban el día de ayer. ¿Puedo contestar entonces solamente, solo decir... Eh, la palabra en particular, como un sí, como un no, como, um, por ejemplo, ¿qué hora es? It's six o'clock. Okay. It's six o'clock. Um, entonces, ese, este caso, ¿verdad? Cuando llega tu papá a las 9.30. Otra forma sería decir la oración completa. My dad, ok. My dad gets or arrives at 9.30. Okay, pero igual no habría ningún problema con que solo dijéramos y dijéramos a Entonces, entonces ahí es de, o sea, van a escuchar diversas cosas, pero completa, solo, solo la hora. Entonces, solo es un ejemplo, podría ser cualquiera de estas. So, what time does she finish her lesson? Y tenemos ahí otra pregunta, what time? ¿Qué significa what time, guys? ¿A qué hora? Ajá, ¿a qué hora? ¿A qué hora? So, what time? Does uh, she finish her lesson? Okay, at four, uh, at two o'clock, right? At two o'clock. So, what time do we finish our le our class? At ten. Ten. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at ten p.m. Yeah, at ten. 10. Okay. So let's see. Let's continue with some more. Um. Okay. So we have some exercises. Look at this. So use do or does for completing these questions. So where do you go to school? So what could be the next question? Can you um, order the sentence? Vamos a ver, ayúdenme a ordenar la oración ahí. It's question two. What do you do? What do you? 
Uh -huh. What do you? What you do you? Ajá, uh -huh. pero nos haría falta ahí un verbo principal. Ya le vamos a poner el do porque no me da otra, otra opción. What do you do? ¿Qué haces? Number three. What do you have for number three? Number three. Any idea? Where? Okay, where? Where John? Auxiliary verb. Do or does? Uh, does. Uh, does. Does. Does John? John. Okay. Come um, from. Come from. So, can you translate the question? Could you translate the question? ¿De dónde viene John? Ah, ¿de dónde viene? So where does John come from? From Argentina, from Spain, from United Kingdom, from England, from Switzerland. Okay, question four. What do you think? Question four. How long? To... Uh -huh. How long? Oh, this is a new one. Miren, esta es otra. How long? Para hablar de duración. How long? Mm -hmm. How long? How long? Uh -huh. How long? Yeah, repeat it, please. It? Oh, okay. So remember the structure. Recuerden la estructura. Chequen la estructura. How long? How long take? Auxiliary pair. Recuerden que después de la double H sigue el auxiliar. How long? Do or does? Do. Do. Mm. Uh -huh. And identify the subject. Is that third person or not? Identify the subject. Which is the subject? What's the name? Does. 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 Ajá, uh -huh, das. Nos tenemos que identificar el sujeto para definir qué auxiliar vamos utilizando. How long does it neighbor, ahora el verbo principal. Take from London to Paris. To Paris. Okay, so what do you think? So how long does it take from London to Paris? El... Teacher, con el do y el das, eh, bueno, hablo por mí, creo que todavía... No manejo muy bien este eh, cuándo va a do y cuándo va a das. Ok, Bye. aquí se lo voy a resumir en este, en este cuadrito que estamos escribiendo aquí. Bye. El do y el do se utiliza con uh, pronombre I de primera persona, pronombre you, segunda persona, singular o plural, pronombre we, tercera persona, uh, perdón, primera persona plural y pronombre de uh, tercera persona del plural ellos y el das ah, con he she it, 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 it. Ajá. Sí. ¿Y, en cuanto, y en cuanto se refiere a preguntas así como como esta bueno, en este caso como son double H questions recordamos ahí la estructura de las yes no questions teníamos preguntas abiertas y preguntas cerradas con las yes no questions pero los auxiliares siempre los vamos utilizando entonces por ejemplo Do you work? Trabajas? Does she work? Trabaja ella? Ahora, con las double H questions, tenemos preguntas abiertas. O se llaman information questions. Aquí, information questions. Porque en las double H tienen diferentes significados. Por ejemplo, tenemos ahí en la primera, where. Voy a preguntar por un lugar, where. Who, para preguntar por una persona, la identidad de alguien, quién trabaja ahí, por ejemplo. Um, vamos ahí, how long, lo vamos a ubicar aquí, para preguntar de duración. Ahora, ¿cuál es la estructura? Si usted nota, en las yes no question tenemos auxiliar, luego sujeto y luego verbo principal. Ahora, en las, en estas otras, ¿verdad? Permítame. Bye. En estas otras <coughs> son preguntas abiertas. Las yes no questions son preguntas cerradas. Do you work? Yes. I do. 
Okay. Does she work? Yes. She does. <laughs> Okay, de acuerdo, ya lo checo. Okay, porque si la mi hija chiquita está enferma y necesito estar con ella. De acuerdo, ya que comprendo. Ya le corresponde. Bueno, gracias. Okay. A ver. Ah, disculpen, tengo tos. <ríe> okay, bueno. Acá. Entonces teníamos yes no questions, son preguntas cerradas, sí o no. Las double edge questions, y si ya no solicitan dar una respuesta eh, diferente, una respuesta abierta. ¿A dónde trabajas? Where do you work? Entonces, primero ubicamos la double edge question, luego auxiliar, luego sujeto y luego el verbo principal. El auxiliar no se traduce. Auxiliar solamente es para formular las preguntas, ya sea preguntas abiertas o preguntas de eh, double edge questions o information questions. Where do you work? Miren, I work. Entonces ahí no digo yes, ¿verdad? No tiene sentido. ¿A dónde trabajas? Sí, no, no, no diría eso. ¿A dónde trabajas? I work in um, a call center, for example. I work in a call center. Okay. So who is she? Okay. Who do you work with? Y lo que estuvimos practicando. ¿Con quién trabajas? I work with Marcos. How long? Vamos a contestar esa que está acá arriba. Pero no sé, si, ¿cómo vamos a ir? La duda, si vamos despejándola bien, o se me dice. Sí, 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 teacher. Bye. Vamos bien. Entonces, nada más, esos auxiliares, es de identificar esto, el sujeto, con cuál se va a ocupar. No se traduce en auxiliar, pero sí es necesario para hacer las preguntas. Es de ir siguiendo la estructura. Bueno, ahora, how long does it take from London to Paris? ¿Cuál sería el verbo que yo utilizaría para contestar esa pregunta? ¿Cuánto me toma? Uh, ¿Cuánto toma el, el viaje de London a París? It takes. Okay, ahí, it takes. Okay, it está refiriendo al, al viaje. ¿verdad? It takes. Vamos a decir ahí un una respuesta it takes two hours toma dos horas entonces how long es para preguntar duración how long does your English class uh, um, let's say take ¿Cuánto, cuánto tiempo dura tu clase de inglés two hours how often how about number five can you help me with question five how often does she go to the cinema Okay, how often? What is the meaning? ¿Qué significa how often? Vamos viendo algunas nuevas. How often, ¿qué significa? Cada cuánto. Cada cuánto, con qué frecuencia o qué tan a menudo. Okay, does she ¿eh? go to the cinema? Entonces, todos los elementos están ahí y son necesarios. Um, okay, ¿con qué frecuencia va al cine? Miren, she goes... ¿Cuántas veces? Una vez a la semana. Una vez al mes. Once a month. Una vez al mes. She goes once a month. Una vez al mes. Seguimos ahí con la otra. Number six. What do you have? ¿Quién ya la terminó a las seis? How many children do you have? Uh, how many children do you have? Do you have? Uh -huh. ¿Cuántos? Hijos tienen. Entonces, para decir hijos, vamos a utilizar children, niños. How many children do you have? Okay. How many children do you have? I have 10, for example. Oh, <laughs> body. That's too much. <laughs> okay. My I, grandmother has 10, uh -huh. Okay, 12, wow. 12, wow. Oh. Wow. Yeah. wow, so you have a huge family, una gran familia, inmensa. Many, many brothers. Yes. Yeah, yeah I know a person who has, yeah, like 12 or 10 to 12. Yeah, yeah. I also know someone. Okay, let's see, question seven. When do you get up? 
Mm -hmm. When do you get up? So when do you get up? So we're asking about time. Entonces estamos preguntando de tiempo. When do you get up? So when do you get up? I get up at. Entonces ahí podría ser la hora también nada más. I get up at six. Okay, six, six. Levanto a las seis. Question A. What do you have? How often do you study English? Okay. How often do you study English? Yeah, interesting question. How often do you study English? Tell me. Cuénteme. Cuánto que tan a menudo. Sometimes. Empezamos de la escala más alta. Always. Often. Miren. Siempre. A menudo. A veces. Seldom, rara vez, never, hasta llegar a la, a la última, a cero cantidad. Entonces vamos de mayor a, ahí como lo quieran tomar, de always, de mayor a menor frecuencia, siempre, a menudo, a veces, rara vez, or never. Always, always, always. So how often do you study English? Always, Sergio. Always. Diana. <laughs> Carlita. Always. Always. Every, every, every day. day. Sí, puede ser. Esas son otras expresiones también de tiempo. Every day. Every day, sí. Mm -hmm. Está bien. So, number nine. What do you have for number nine? Number nine. Hello. What do you think? Okay. Where do you... Play tennis. Oh, number nine. Number nine. What time? What time do the film start? Do the film start? You sure? Seguro. Do the film start? No. A ver. No. Ajá, identifiquen. ¿Cuál es el sujeto ahí? Das. Das. Entonces, ahí el sujeto no das. dice ningún eh, pronombre personal, ¿verdad? Pero... Vamos a entender como la película, un sujeto película. singular, pronombre singular, it. Entonces aquí podría... No sacar la ventana. Entonces, does the film start. Entonces ahí cuando no lleve el pronombre, usted tiene que identificar si es un sujeto singular, plural, para ubicar el, el, ah, el auxiliar. Entonces, según el, el sujeto. Ahí está. Exacto, tienen que identificar el sujeto. Okay. Let's see. Um, ten. Question ten. Where do you do play tennis? Mm. Where? Where do you play tennis? Where do you play tennis? Where do you play tennis? Excellent. So where do you play tennis? Do you play tennis? Have you ever played tennis? Yeah, well, tennis. Never. No. no, never. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, tampoco. <laughs> No, never. <laughs> Maybe when you travel abroad, when you stay behind for the país, ahí se da gusto. Maybe I don't know if we have that here in Salvador. I think there is. Green shop. Green no, shop. No, no, I haven't seen it. No, Okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, take a screenshot. Toma la una captura. Toma la, toma la una captura. Eso del sujeto creo que resolvió una de las dudas que tenía. Uh -huh. Sí, sí, es que no, no siempre va a aparecer aquí este, por ejemplo, el Gio, el Gio Elite, puede ser Sandra, puede ser Marcos. Uh, Ajá, no, sí. no, por ejemplo, miren en la número 6, how many children, children, ellos, niños, ellos. Uh -huh. Ajá, hay que, hay que relacionarlo. Ok, bien, seguimos, seguimos. Let's continue. Yeah, let's continue. So now we have some speaking activities. Okay, so first speaking activity, ask and answer. So we're going to be talking about music and podcasts. What is a podcast? Do you know what a podca podcast is? It's a podcast. Yes, yeah, it's uh, like a conversation uh, between two persons. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's a conversation between two people, or maybe it's just a, um, let's say, a streaming 
where you listen to people talking about a particular topic mm -hmm. so that's a podcast maybe you can you can also create podcasts you can select a topic for example fashion for example music for example english or stories or comics anime movies so you can talk about any any topic that you want to entonces puedes hablar de cualquier tema ahora so and you're going to be talking about that Okay, Adriana. So these are some simple questions that you can make to learn more about music. For example, do you like to pod, uh do you like podcasts? So that, that would be the question. Do you like um do you listen to podcasts? I mean, do you listen to podcasts? Yeah? Tell me, give me your opinions. Do you listen to podcasts? Sergio, Diana, Juan Carlos, Merari, Carlita, Adriana. Ana, do you listen to podcasts? Escuchan ustedes podcasts? Inglés desde cero. Yes or no? Yes. Oh. Yes. yes. Okay. How, how can I say he escuchado? I have, okay. I have listened, he escuchado, I have listened to some podcasts. He escuchado algunos podcasts, por ejemplo. For example, ahí pueden dar algún ejemplo. For example, maybe podcast about, let's say, music. About English. Music, English. Okay. Maybe, um, what else? So you can talk about and movies yeah technology yeah the future for example so anything related to that right no se puede ser cualquier cualquier tema en realidad stories stories yeah Sergio oh uh, yeah story stories uh -huh. stories hay como cuentos historias o relatos Ajá, uh -huh. history, ya, yeah. esa history es, 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 es historia, ¿verdad? Estas son historias, cuentos. Um, ¿Cuál otro mencionaron? ¿Cuál otro mencionaron? Crecimiento personal. Personal growth, yeah, could be. Motivation, I don't know, maybe things like that, right? Motivation. Okay, so what kinds of music do you like? Entonces ahí pueden ir agregando que, qué tipo de podcast les gusta. Okay. So what kind of music do you like, guys? Do you like pop, romantic? So what kind of music do you like? Give me your ideas, opinions. Vamos a ver, escucho opiniones. So what kind of music do you like? ¿Qué tipo de música? Miren, esa es otra pregunta. ¿Qué tipo de música? ¿Qué tipo de? What kind of? ¿Qué tipo de? Ahí lo ¿Qué tipo de música te gusta o les gusta? So, what kind of music do you like? So can you mention your favorite kind of music? A little bit of all music. A mix. A mix of everything. Uh -huh. What else? So, what kind of music do you like? Uh, Juan Carlos? Like... Uh, pop. Mm -hmm. I like pop music. Pop music. What else? Let's see. Vanessa, Yolanda, Walter. What kind of music do you like? I like all music. Okay, all music. All music or all music? <laughs> all. Both. <laughs> All music, all and all. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah, all and all. Vanessa, how about you, Vanessa? What kind of music do you like? Electronic, romantic music, um, bachata. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, in my case, I'm into electronic music. I, I... I like electronic music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me romantic, too. romantic music in English. Oh, okay, Bad. romantic music that works. 
I like <laughs> instrumental music. Ah, okay, instrumental music. Uh, you know. Classic. Classical music, yeah, classical music, classical music. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other country music? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Not say so country music. Maybe reggae. No. <laughs> no, no, rap. Reggae. I don't know. So you rap. Rap. Yes. We worship music, music, gospel, gospel music or worship. Yeah, that's gospel. You think gospel? Christian music. Yeah, Christian. That's Christian gospel. Christian. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Um, do you listen to electronic music? Yes. No. Do you listen to electronic? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, I like. What is your favorite like. electronic music oh. or song? Maybe song. Yeah, song. What is your favorite electronic song? Canción, canción favorita. Voices. Voices. Yeah. Imaginary dreams. Imagine. Okay, imagine. Imaginary dreams. dreams? The San okay. Antonio. <laughs> mm -hmm. So do you have any favorite, let's see, um, DJ? Any favorite DJ? Santonio. My favorite DJ is Martin Garrett. Okay, oh. your, your name, his name? Tiene que conocer Martin voices, entonces. Oh, no, Diane. No se llama Forbidden Voices. My favorite <laughs> DJ. I don't know. <laughs> Forbidden voice. <laughs> no, I don't know. My, 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 yeah. my, my favorite DJ. Yeah. Your favorite Alan DJ? Walker. Alan Walker. Alan Walker. Yeah, that's one of my favorites. And, and San Antonio. About the music. Yeah, I think that both. My favorite DJ is Armin Van Buren. Yeah, right. Armin Van Buren. Yeah, Armin. Dimitri. Um, like Mike, maybe. Can you see that? No. <laughs> I know him. Uh -huh. Yes, alguien más mencionó por ahí. Vamos a ver, alguien más. Serhat Durmus. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I want to check. Antonio, I don't know. Oh, Van Dyke. Teacher, this is the, the name of the song. I... <laughs> uh huh. What is the name this of the song? This is the name. No sé si enfoca. Oh, lo que. Ahí, se enfocó. No, 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 I can see. Oh, yeah, no, I, yo no la veo, yo no la veo. Ustedes compartanme en el chat. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, interesting. I didn't know that you like electronic music that much, so let's go to tomorrow. <laughs> Mama, tomorrow. <laughs> so that would be great. Uh, yes. Okay. One yeah. day, one day. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> but you know, it's even, um, yeah, the coin that they use is called pearls. Some perlas, sterling. Se llama la moneda. And it's, uh, let's say, um, more expensive than the euro. Es más cara que el euro. Es más cara que el euro. That's good. That's a nice experience. It's a nice experience, yeah. Okay, so um, let's see. Question five What music uh, streaming services do you use? What services do you use? So, do you use any? Spotify. Spotify, okay. Spotify. YouTube. YouTube. YouTube Music. Any other? Hay alguna other? Is there any uh, other streaming service? Uh Apple Music. 
Facebook, maybe. Netflix, you said? No. Apple Netflix? Mm, I don't know. Apple Music. Oh, yeah, Apple. Okay, Apple Music. Could be. Well, I don't know about Apple, but maybe, yeah. Um, okay, so do you pay for a music streaming service or no? Pagan por la transmisión. SoundCloud. Ah, okay, SoundCloud. No. Okay. So even yeah. you can play Spotify. Uh -huh, Ajá, yeah. ya. Juan Carlos. Netflix. Netflix. Uh, no, is that does Netflix have a music streaming service? Tiene Netflix algún servicio de streaming, the music streaming service? No, no, no. No, maybe no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. So we have talked about uh, well, this is this is kind of interesting, right? <laughs> we love electronic music. Okay, so we will continue with uh, the following questions. So and now I need you to discuss these questions with your classmates. Let's see. Uh, can you read question one and two? Set here. Question one and two. Uh, what do you what do you eat when you feel sad? What do you like to drink? Okay, so ¿qué comes cuando te sientes triste o qué tomas? Question three and four, Juan Carlos. Hola, sí, digo. Question three and four. Three questions, three and four. What do you like? What do you like to eat? For you dinner. Uh -huh, for your dinner. What do you did? Huh? What do you think of Thai food? China's Chinese. Food? Chinese. Chinese. Chinese food. English food. Okay, so ¿qué piensas? ¿Qué opinas de la comida tailandesa, china o inglesa? Okay, question five and six, please. Uh, let me see, Anna, Anna Coralia. Question um five and six. Back to your microphone. Maybe David, David, please help us. Question five and six. Hello, teacher, que la lea la pregunta. Yeah, yeah. Read the question. What do you usually Usual. like to drink? Uh -huh. usually. usually, usually, usually. Listen. Usually. Usually. What do you usually, usually like? My, what do you usually like to dry? Drink. When do you drink? When you go? When do you? <laughs> Go out. You go out when you go out. When out. you go out. So, what do you usually like to drink when you go out? ¿Qué tomas usualmente cuando sales? Cuando vas a pasear? Cuando sales con tus amigos? Okay. So, question seven. Continue, please. David, continue with question seven. What food can you cook? Be the best. The best. The ah, best. Pues, ajá, ¿Cuál es el mejor platillo que les que cocinan ustedes? O sea, un vasito con agua. Una maruchan. Maruchan, dice. Una maruchan. <risa> Queda excelente. De la que trae camarones. Ah, de la trae camarones. Puro, puro plástico. <risa> <risa> ok. Let's see. Uh, Karen, please help us, Karen. Um, question um, eight and nine. Question eight and nine. Yep. Okay. Um, what food do you have? Uh -huh. What food do you What hate? food do you hate? Hate. 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 Uh, hate. Yeah, hate. What food do you hate? ¿Qué comida odias? ¿Por qué la odias? Why do you hate it? Why do you hate it? ¿Por qué la odias? So, is there any food that you hate? ¿Hay alguna que odien? ¿Que no les guste? Is there any food that you hate? That you hate, I mean. 
<laughs> no? Yes. Yeah, maybe you are gonna mention that soon. Okay, so what foods do you ha hate? You can mean as all yes. What foods do you what hate? Food do you uh, yeah. What foods do you love? Equales les encanta. Sí, uh, Carlita, please help us with question 11 and 12. Thank you, your microphone. Of your life. Mm -hmm. One question. 11, yeah, question 11. What food have you tasted which you will never forget for the rest of your life? Mm, okay. And what food do you eat the most often? Okay, interesting. So question 11, what foods have you tasted which you will never forget for the rest of your life? ¿Qué comida han probado que nunca, nunca van a olvidar por el resto de su vida? So maybe, um, do you have a, a good experience or a bad experience? Do you have a good experience or a bad experience? Let's see. Um, question 12. What food do you eat the most often? ¿Qué, comi qué fruta comen a menú más a menú? Question 13. Let's see. Um, help us, Fidel. Fidel, 13, 14, and 15. Okay. What have you eaten so far today? Okay. What is a typical meal for your country? What is one of your favorite foods? Okay, excellent. So what have you eaten so far? ¿Qué has comido hasta el día, de, hasta el momento, so far, today? Okay, sorry. So what is a typical meal from your country? Algún platillo típico, una, una comida típica de, de su país. Okay, so what is one of your favorite foods? One of my favorite foods, maybe is, and then you mentioned what is that place. So how do you answer this? I hate, okay, then you mentioned the examples. I love, I hate, look at this, I hate, for example, pacayas, because, okay, and I'm gonna reason por qué, because, uh, what food can you cook the best? I can cook. Then you mentioned what you can cook. See, which you will never forget for the rest of your life. You only mentioned that dish. Okay, what food do you eat? I often, I often eat, often eat. Uh, a menudo como he eh, mencionan que es lo que comen que fruta I often eat mango watermelon strawberries so something that you eat so what do you usually like to drink when you go out I like okay lo vamos a empezar un poquito diferente porque ustedes van teniendo más ideas when I go out I like to drink ¿eh? y ponen su soft drink su coca cola verdad <laughs> okay, so do you, what do you think about Thai Chinese food, English food? I think, okay, I think that, opino okay. que, y ustedes agreguen ahí una razón, algo más. ¿Cómo es para el almuerzo? I usually have or eat. Ahí puede ser have or eat. I usually have or eat. Ahí mencionan qué, 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 qué es lo que comen. Uh, what do you like to eat for dinner? I like to eat. Okay, these, okay, these, uh, comma, okay. So there you are more ideas, right? And this, okay. Simple, I need you to practice that question, simple as that. So what do you like to drink? Um, I think I like to eat um, chocolate, for example, I like to chop, to drink chocolate. I mean, yeah, to eat and drink, basically, actually. Okay. Okay. Um, 
Okay, how about what do you eat when you feel sad? Cuéntenme, chicos, ¿qué les gusta comer cuando están tristes? Oh. Uh -huh. I don't need. You don't eat. Wow. No, come on. You have to eat. No. Tiene que comer. Ok. So let's see. Vamos a ver. Vamos a hacer una prueba uno por uno con algunos. Somos 15. Yeah. What do you eat when you feel sad? Let me see. Walter, what do you eat when you feel sad? Vamos a elegir alguna de ellas. Oh, I like it. Oh, I eat pupusas. Pupusas. Ok. Ok. Interesting. <laughs> Si le Mejor I yeah. drink. Uh -huh. And how about the drink? What do you like to drink? When you feel sad. Uh -huh. Alcohol. Alcohol, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so then do it. <laughs> I like to eat pupusas and drink. Uh, no, 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 soft drink. Entonces, uh, ¿cómo decimos las gaseosas? Soft uh, drinks. Can you no you no contienen alcohol, right? Some soft uh, drinks. I said. Okay. Eso serían bebidas suaves, right? Um, let's see, another question. Sergio, what do you um, let me see? What do you usually like to drink when you go out? Uh, number six. Yes. What do you usually like to drink when you go? Uh huh. Yeah, tell me. What do you usually? Esa, esa... Yeah, six. Bebida, dijimos que era. Soft drinks. Bebida. Ah. Sí, bebida. ¿Qué le gusta tomar? When... Uh, natural fresh. Uh, when I go. No, I go out. I like to drink natural fresh. Uh -huh. Okay. Soft drink. So the soft drink some sodas. A soda. A soda. Okay. How about let me see question uh question ten. What foods do you love? Let me see. Fidel, what foods do you love? Oh, uh, what? What foods do you love? ¿Qué comidas le encantan? Mm, I love... But I, but I love mm -hmm. When go out, I mm -hmm. love... Uh -huh. Yeah. When you go out, I, I love... It. Mm. Pupusas and... I, ¿cómo se dice comida chatarra? Long food. Long food. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when I go out, I like to eat a junk food and pupusas. Okay. Cuando voy, uh, cuando salgo, okay, vamos a comer chatarra, like hamburgers, hot dogs, or any other junk food and pupusas. Okay, let's... Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Question, let me see. What is a typical meal from your country? Uh, Carlita, typical meal. What is a typical meal? <laughs> Number, let's see. No le parece. 14. 14, 14. yeah. 14. 14. Mm -hmm. 14. What do you think? What is a typical meal from your country? Or anybody? Vamos a ver. ¿Quién, quién nos apoya ahí contestando? You know, I know. Pupusas. Pupusas. What else? Tamales. <laughs> Maybe tamales. Yeah. Chuco. Yaka. Fry yaka. <laughs> That's yaka. No yeah, yeah, yaka. <laughs> okay. 
So um yeah, so now I'm going to open the breakout rooms and we're going to be working in the groups talking about these topics, okay? Vamos a ver, vamos a abrir los grupos, okay? Vamos allá. So I need you to discuss that. Creo que ya enviaron la foto, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay, yes. So, so let's go, guys. Let's go. I'm going to be checking the groups soon. Ya, ya pronto voy uniéndome con cada uno de ustedes. Mm -hmm. Se María Karen. Eso. Hola, hola. Dele ahí a la pregunta, muchacho. I like to um, I like to eat um, I know, ice cream. Ice cream, it's okay. Vamos, voy con la segunda pregunta. What do you like to drink? David Zúñiga. I I water. Agua de coco, como era. Coconut. Coconut. Water. Uh, coconut, water. Uh, coconut water. Bye, Adriana. I like what? to drink fresh coconut ice. Okay, Herson. I like to drink lemonade. Okay, Adriana va con la pregunta número tres. What do you like to eat for your Diner. Um, Herson. I like to eat pupusas. I like to eat pupusas too. I like to eat so. So, soup. Okay. So, uh, so, so. Um, um, pupusas. También. También. Bueno, Gerson, la número cuatro. Gerson. Ahorita, ahorita, ahorita. La número cuatro. What do you think to tie food? Chinese. Chinese food? English food? I think that uh, answer some. Chinese food is our songs. Teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia eso? No, soy. Chinese food. Ah, Chinese. Chinese food. ¿Cuál Chinese era? food sí es our song. Algo así impresionante. ¿Cómo se dice? Our song. ¿Cómo se pronuncia eso? ¿Cuál? ¿Cuál palabra? Perdón. Impresionante o ¿cómo se dice? Impresionante. Amazing. Uh -huh. Amazing. Y awesome. Algo así como awesome. AW. Ah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Awesome. 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 ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo? Awesome. 
Awesome. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome. Impresionante. Pero es más, más resaltado, eh. impresionante. De esa sí, manera. sí, extremadamente impresionante. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. El otro era amazing. Amazing. Okay. Amazing. Um, Vaya. Asombro. Amazing sería asombroso también. Una gran okay. sorpresa o asombro. Ok. Vaya, los demás chicos ahí para que contesten la pregunta 4. I think it's wonderful. Maravilloso. Ok. Erson. Uh, ah, no, Gerson preguntó, va. Sí, yo pregunté. I eat, I eat yeah. delicious. 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 Okay. Bueno, voy con las cinco. What do you usually eat for lunch? David Suchiga. I, I usually have a... Eh, ¿Cómo se dice? Rice. I usually have to eat rice. Rice. Ok, Adriana Chávez. What do you usually eat for lunch? Eh, ¿Cuál era? Ah, en las cinco, ¿va? Yes. 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 I usually I usually eat soap, soap, soup, soup, chicken or meat. Okay. Here so where do you usually, usually eat for eat fried chicken? Fried chicken. Oh. Bueno, vamos Pero con... Voy... La... Esta la digo yo. No, la, la sexta, sí. What do you usually like to drive when you go out? Ok. When I go... Uh, when I go out, I like... Blue Label de Johnny Walker. Ajá. Uh -huh. Adriana. I like Coca-Cola. <ríe> Coca-Cola cero, que sea. Respuesta sería: I, I, I usually have for lunch. Usually. 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 Cinco, ¿verdad? Sí. Okay, con ese, eh, I, I usually, I usually eh, eat pizza. Oh. Ok. I usually had uh, uh, meat. Carne, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sí. I usually eat salad. What? <laughs> I usually eat salad. Ensalada? Creo que sí era. Uh, ensalada. De esa sí hay ensalada rusa, o sea, de Rusia. <laughs> Se supone. Eh, la otra es, what do you usually like to drink when you go out? I usually drink coffee and Coca-Cola. I, when I go out, uh, I like to to drink 
um, energy <laughs> and, and coffee. Energetic um, drinks. Energetic drinks. Ah, energetic. Yeah, energetic. 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 Uh, uh -huh. uh, let me see. Just let me open that for you. Energetic drinks. Like Raptor or something like that. Energy drink. Energy drink. Um, ahí voy a mencionar algunas. Energy drink. Monsters. <laughs> Monsters. <laughs> <laughs> y Raptor Venado I want I want a beer <laughs> What is that? <laughs> lo siento Lo siento I don't know <laughs> Bueno, Why are you laughing, Karen? <laughs> Siguiente question, please. Siguiente. Yeah, next. Sería, uh, what food can you cook the best? ¿Qué comida puedes cocinar mejor? Sopa Maruchan. Maruchan sop. <laughs> no es eh, a quien cut sop Maruchan. ¿O es primero Maruchan cut? Maruchan. No. Así es. I can cook Maruchan. Yes. I can cook. Maruchan sop. Bistec. Viste. I can cook uh, soft chicken. I can cook uh, soft chicken. Macarons. <laughs> Macarons. <laughs> <laughs> no, pasta. Pasta. Spaghetti. Pasta. Okay. What okay. food? Do you hate? Why do you hate it? Pork meat. What? What food do you hate? Why do you hate it? Eh, okay. ¿Qué comida odia pa? Algo así va. Sí. Okay. Sí. Um, sí. ¿Y por qué? I hate um, pork, 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 pork meat, como carne, por ejemplo. Sí, ¿verdad? Pork. 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 Sería pig. Pork. Sí, sería. Sí, sería pork. De cerdo. Sí, sería. Sí. Creo que ya no está. <risa> bueno. Por entonces. Yes. I prepare yeah. my food. <coughs> But no, no. Mm, ah, no veo no nada. Eh, what what food? food do you hate? Do you hate? Dígame. Bueno, eso ya lo dijimos. Va, viene diciendo casi lo mismo. Sí, sí, casi la misma. Sí. Elementos joyas. Eh, pasemos a la 10. A la siguiente. Next 10. What Next. food do you love? ¿Qué comida te encanta? I love. Ah, pupusa. Eh, number one. Ya <risa> hmm. vi que sí eh... le gusta la pupusa. <risa> El I salvadoreño. <risa> de cabal, cabal. 100%. I love 
Ajá, pero pongámosle no, más sabor, right. hoy pongámosle que son de pollo, de camarón, de otra cosa. Mm, I love Solo pupu. pupusas eh, de sí, 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 with, with eh, jalapeño. I like. Uh, I... Me too. Ok. ¿Quién? ¿Quién más? ¿Quién más la responde? Sopa de reja y no. Uf. Ok. Sopa de pata. Sí, también. 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 ¿En yo, Vanessa? Ay, la sopa de frijol. Así con sí. sí, qué rico. Y Edwin y Argot. Con arroz. Oh. Y arroz. Edwin Argot en los que Edwin no, no está. Ah, ahí está Edwin. Edwin. Mm. Eh, Hola. Question number, question number 10. What food do you love? ¿Qué comidas te encantan? Eh. Relleno de papa. I love qué? I love. Relleno de papa. Relleno de papa. Ah, okay. okay. Sí, me encanta. No sé, la papa, pero de papa, relleno de papa. Todo lo que lleve papa. Papa rellena. <risa> <risa> lo que no, like no me gusta de la papa es la papa rellena. Le voy a agregar ahí sí. lo que dijo la teacher y que no le gusta. Ay, aquí está la teacher. I love pacaya. <risa> no, pacaya. No. <risa> Ya les dije que parejo, no hay comida que no me guste. Así que la pacaya también me gusta bastante. ¿Qué es la pacaya? La pacaya eh, es, es como una planta. Sí, es como. O, o la flor la de una pollita. planta. ¿vale? Ah, Ajá. Una oh. polla, ¿qué le dicen? Ajá. ¿Cómo la puede hacer? ¿Con algo así va? Ajá. Es. La berenjena. También. No, I hate. No sé si me gusta. <ríe> No, creo que ya, ya, ya no digamos la comida que no nos gusta porque podemos salir peleados de aquí. Sergio, ¿a dónde es que vive usted, hijo? Eh, a San Sebastián, San Vicente. San Sebastián, va. Por ahí están los tiangues, va. Este, aquí no, en no hay tiangues por ahí. Hay uno, San Rafael Cedro. Va. Aquí cerca. Yo, yo quisiera probar el peligüey. Ah, dicen que es buena. Peligüey. La carne del peligüey es buena. Yo Así no dicen. Vez. Igual yo. Ahí vea sí, cuando lo hacemos ahí. Que bueno, sería bueno. Ahí, invitamos a las compañeras aquí, a Edwin también. No es diferente. Va, <risa> next, next question, number 11. Edwin, ¿la puede leer, por favor? No lo tengo a la mano, no sé. <risa> ah, ah, pues, este Fidel o alguien más. Ok, yo, ahí. What food have you taste? which you will never forget for the rest of your life. ¿Qué alimentos hemos probado que no olvidaremos, verdad? Algo así. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eh... Ahí sí, la, la pacaya sí, nunca sí. voy a olvidar cuando la comí. La pacaya, comí. sí, porque a mí no me gusta. <risa> <risa> Mamá, la voy a olvidar. <risa> creo que creo que me quedo solo aquí en esta batalla yo a nadie le más le gusta solo a mí. Ahí, o sea, yeah, Sergio oh, uh, oh. Sergio do you like pacaya Sergio I like I like pacaya yeah, I do too Sergio <risa> <risa> I like I like le da parejo dice <risa> maybe he's vegetarian <risa> no vegetariano se acostumbró dice a comer de todo ¿eh? Sí, sí, así, así tocaba antes, así que a él, no, a él no lo castigaban ahí en la mesa teniéndolo dos horas hasta que comiera todo. No, a mí no, a mí no, a mí no, no para eso. Eh. Eh, la, la, de la pregunta 11, eh, hay una, bueno, yo, yo probé una vez eh, una costa costilla de barbacoa, barbecue rye, parece barbecue. que uh -huh. ba barbecue rye. Eh, que me encantó de, de, de los tres cerditos tri, trico chinito <risa> ah, sí. eso, 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 me, eso, eso me encantó eso, eso me encantó <risa> así que puedo decir que, puedo decir que es, de la, es de las comidas que más me han me, me, han, me han gustado 
Barbecue ribs. Uh -huh. Barbecue ribs. Uh -huh. wow. How much is the is the dish? How much? Cuánto? How much is the dish? Cuánto? Cuánto cuesta? Eh, y para ese tiempo, porque ya hace hace mucho. Uh -huh. <ríe> este. Eleven. Eleven. Eleven dólares. Una tan sola vez he entrado yo ahí a los tres servitos. No. Pero ahora ya. ya no, que ahí entró y ojo le pasado. So today 24, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> no, no, no. Ya. Yo ni allá va a qué pedir. Eh. Ya today more expensive de, de, de seguro. Es más caro. Yeah. Lo clásico, los oh, chicharrones oh. nada más, porque ahí ya no. Oh, lo yeah. clásico, los chicharrones. Favorite. It's full. My favorite, favorite food is garlic. <laughs> no sé cómo se pronuncia. Garlic. Yo. Garlic. Garlic, yeah, garlic, yeah, garlic. Ah, pues camarones. Ah, <laughs> camarones okay. Shrimps, shrimps, shrimps. Lo pongo por shrimps. 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 Yeah, shrimps. With garlic, sería. With garlic, yeah. Garlic shrimp. Mm -hmm. Okay, shrimp y um, ¿quién falta? Person, lo que tú no lo dijo, creo. Person. Yeah, yeah. Um, one of my favorite food is eh, pollo campero. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do love okay. campero chicken too. <laughs> chicken. Yeah. chicken. But it's not that healthy. Yeah, but it's chicken. good. It tastes good. Yeah. Uh, oh, well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I hate the campero chicken. You hate campero chicken? Yes. Mm, okay, so what's your favorite? I love campero chicken. Food? Chinese food, Walter? No, it is uh, Mexican food. Oh, Mexican food. Yeah, okay, like yes. tacos. Tacos. Mm, yeah. Sandwich. Sandwiches. Sandwich. 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 Uh -huh. Muy poquito tiempo nos dan. Sergio, me imagino que te puso a chambrear ahí con los compañeros. Yeah. Toda la calle. No, 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 Estamos hablando de los Ya lo puede. <ríe> No, pero es que ahí así nos conocemos. Y a todos nos gusta la pacaya, estábamos diciendo. Al rato hacen una pacallada entre todos. And you were all invited, todo está invitado. Nadie va a ir. Nadie va a llegar. de Sergio. Más para Miguelito. De lo que se pierde. Sí, sí, sí. Sí. Yeah, no, you know, my mom taught me to eat that. Mi mamá, mi mamá, mi mamá, mi mamá. Ah, su mamá. Yeah, she, she taught me ah, to okay. eat yeah. Okay. yeah, things like that, you know. Cosas así. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think that's why I like it. Uh, I also like mora. Nunca aguantamos hambre. Mora. No yeah, pupusas made with mora too. Do you like mora? No. Yes. La pupusa. Yes. You see, yes. I like. Solo hacer experimentos. Es solo hacer y le gustan las cosas así amargas. Okay. La flor de isote, la flor de isote. Yeah, I like isote flower. Flower. Do you like isote flower? I like flor de isote. And the rest y los demás. Edwin. No. Edwin no no. Apoyen, no. Ni, ni los ejotes con huevos me gustan a mí. Ay, tampoco a mí, tampoco a mí. Y el hígado, el hígado. Ah, el hígado, sí. Eh. Cebollado. También sí, yo he dicho cebollado, sí, sí. Sí, a mí sí me llega. Next. 
Yeah, no, no, that I don't know that. Okay, let's see. So we're going to continue. Uh, we're going to finish with uh, some listening activities. Let's see. Vamos a compensar los eh, cinco minutos que les debíamos. No eran como cinco, siete minutos. Okay, so we're going to do this fast. So look at this. Describing a daily routine. Listen to the audio file. They match the times with the actions using drag and drop. Let's see. Let's see. Me dicen si se escucha cuando esté compartiendo ahí. This week is a busy week. On Monday, I work. Okay, does it work? Funciona? Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. So yes. you have to listen to the daily routine activities, and then we're going to do the following. For example, on Monday, relax at home on Tuesday. So we're going to do this. Okay, so pay attention to these activities and pay attention to the times. Okay. Monday, Tuesday afternoon, on Friday night, on Thursday night, on Saturday, on Sunday. Let's see, let's start. This week is a busy week. On Monday, I work late. On Tuesday afternoon, I meet my friend mm -hmm. Bill. On Wednesday morning, I have a business meeting. On Thursday night, I relax at home. On Friday night, I go clubbing. On Saturday, I go to the gym. And on Sunday, I visit my parents. Okay, so let's listen to that again. Take notes. This week is a busy week. On Monday, I work late. On Tuesday afternoon, I meet my friend Bill. On Wednesday morning, I have a business meeting. On Thursday night, I relax at home. On Friday night, I go clubbing. On Saturday, I go to the gym. And on Sunday, I visit my parents. This week is a busy week. On Monday, I work late. On Tuesday afternoon, I meet my friend Bill. On Wednesday morning, I have a business meeting. On Thursday night, I relax at home. On Friday night, I go clubbing. On Saturday, I go to the gym. And on Sunday, I visit my parents. Okay, so on Monday, what happened on Monday? Work late. Work late. Work late. Okay, so let's see, work late. On Tuesday afternoon, meet my friends Bill. Meet my friend Bill on Wednesday morning. Business, business meeting. meeting. Business meeting. No reunión de negocios. On Thursday night. Relax at home. No, no. Relax. Relax at home. Relax at home. At home. Okay. On Friday night, go with the clouds. Okay. On Saturday, go to the gym. 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 On Sunday, is it parent? Okay, so let's check that. Okay, well done. So that was it easy or difficult? Congratulations. Congratulations. You're really good at this. Well done. Okay, so I'm going to pass the attendance list. Just give me a couple of seconds and then you're free. Okay. Okay, let's see. Adriana. Okay. Yeah.
Okay. Adriana Chávez López. Present. Ana Coralia Flores de Hernández. César Ernesto Portillo Díaz. Dayana Elizabeth Ramírez Arevalo. Dayana. Diana Verónica Cisneras Toledo. Diego Alberto Quintanilla Morales. Present. Ok. Edwin Alexander Argote López. Present. Thanks, Edwin. Elsie Arely Ruiz Meléndez. Presente. Thanks, Elsie. Fidel Antonio Villatoro. Present. Thanks, Gerson Oswaldo Dera Santana. Present, teacher. Ok. Gloria Elizabeth Contreras Arequeta. Jacqueline Xiomara Araujo de Sura. Yo le pedí permiso. Le... Ah, sí, cierto, sí. José David Zúñiga Padilla. Present. José María Mejía Espinosa. Juan Carlos Quevedo Alfaro. Sí. Karen Gemina Membreño. Present. Thanks. Carla Nayeli Machado Ramos. Present. Thanks. Kimberly Nayeli Miranda Díaz. María Fernanda Morán Ríos. Merari Andrea Sánchez Facundo. Sergio David Leiva Pereira. Present. Vanessa Guadalupe Santos Girón. Present. Thanks, Vanessa. Walter Amilca Ramírez Molina. Present. Thanks. And Yolanda Pérez de Sánchez. Present, teacher. Okay. Thanks a lot, guys, for being today. So we'll see you tomorrow in our next lesson, okay? So have a good night, guys. See you tomorrow. Remember, it's Pacaya. Good night. It's Pacaya. Oh, yeah. That's healthy. No, no, Pacaya. It, it's Pacaya. <laughs> Juan Carlos is going to cry. Yeah, he's going to cry. Diana, bien. Very good. Yeah, yeah, we had a great time. Eh, cuando me mencionó, se me congeló. Ok, no se preocupe, no se preocupe. Sí, yo, yo sé que aquí está. No sé si me puso. Sí, sí. sí. Okay. Ya la notamos, ya. Ya la notamos, Diana. <laughs> sí, Diana. No, okay, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. ok, good night. Good night, class. <laughs> ok, good sorry, night a todos. Bye. Good night. See, see you, later. guys. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.